Back here at home, developing news on Madison's east side, where police are investigating reports of shots fired. Those reports came in around 3:15 this afternoon near the intersection of East Washington Avenue and East Springs Drive. Dane County Dispatch says they received a call of a person shooting from a vehicle. So far, there have been no reports of any injuries. It was a busy weekend for Madison police. They responded to two shootings and multiple armed robberies. NBC 15 Sharon Yu brings us up to speed. Lee, police lights were no stranger to neighborhoods all throughout the city this weekend, affecting some people who haven't seen these crimes before. Uh, this is the first time happened is this. Rama Sapkota works at the Spirit gas station on University Avenue in Madison. Yeah. She says she's been scared ever since someone smashed through her glass door and stole cartons of cigarettes okay. One, two, three, six, six. early Saturday morning. 108 carton is missing. The Newport is always expensive, like a pork pack is a 769. Mm. So one carton for a 10 packs. 10 packs, six, seven, uh, 769 is like uh, $90 something for the carton. The store surveillance camera captured everything. He got a big garbage bag and he took it like a two minutes he spent here, just two minutes. Just two minutes. Just two minutes he grabbed all cigarettes. But the video from Sapkota isn't the only video Madison police are investigating from this weekend. Four armed robberies that happened all around the city are tying them up as well. Yeah, we had a spree of uh, Sunday robberies that took place starting on the east side of Madison, moving down through Monroe Street and then out to the west side. Despain says at least for the armed robbery cases, police believe one individual is responsible. Looking at the perpetrator description and seeing some surveillance pictures and taking a look at just the MO, how the crimes went down. Uh, we believe there's a strong likelihood that all of these crimes were committed by the same person. The motivation remains unknown, but one explanation they're not ruling out. Particularly those who are addicted to heroin and they become a slave to the drug and they get very desperate to get the drug. So whether or not that plays out in this case, we don't know yet, but certainly it's a possibility that we have someone who's very desperate to get more drugs after buying some and using some of the drugs from a previous proceeds of a robbery. There were also two shootings in Madison over the weekend, one of which was fatal. Police say those shootings are unrelated and are still under investigation. No arrests have been made in any of these incidents from the weekend.